It's inevitable what's happening, where, where, where it's getting to. We've been seeing this for, from this crisis started back in, was it 2021? Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember um, visiting the Secretary General of the U United Nations, um, um, Gutierrez, and, um, and I said, well, he did what we're going to do. And he basically just said, like, what can we do? We have to mm -hmm. start with the people in Haiti. But unfortunately, people in Haiti don't have a say because now you have these gangs that are as powerful as the government, or even more powerful than the government. Mm -hmm. And this is just years and years and years of just neglect and corruption and greed of the political elite in, in, in Haiti to, to get to where we are, mm -hmm. to the point where now um, Prime Minister Enrique can't even go back to to, to Haiti. Yeah. Um, and well, he'll have to live in in, in exile. Mm -hmm. But the powers that be, the, the you know the U.S. and, and Canada and, and the EU and etc. Um, they have to help us. In Caracom, we've been crying out from way back. It says we need help, we need help, we need to come in to um, help in Haiti. The, the problem or the concern is that many people are saying, well, we're going and do what? Who are we going to be going after these gang members? Are we going to be what? In a shootout? We had from early on said that, um, that we believe that we have a, a humanitarian responsibility. Mm -hmm. to Haiti, they are brothers and sisters, and that we were prepared to send a small contingent um, from the BDF. Of course, once the conditions, the proper conditions are met,